Guys, I'm gonna take a moment and walk you around on one of our new reefers. This is our new Vanguard reefer. Fully stainless steel front, corners. You see your vent, you've got your grab handle and your steps. Uh, Vanguard's been able to offset that vent into the corner to help out with these new wider reefer units that have been coming out. Not everybody's able to do that. We like that quite well. We'll move to the front. We've got a document holder, obviously. Uh, we've got the Phillips box that has a hinge on it that's able to open. If you need to access any of your seven-way plugs, you want to switch around some wires, make some repairs to your plug. Very, very easy to work on. That front crash plate, that is a nice thick aluminum crash plate. It has a really nice heavy-duty steel approach plate there also. It's not a thin, you know, scuff liner style like a lot of the other guys are using. Five lights per side. We pretty well did that on all of our trailers, except for our stainless where we went a little more. Um, let's have a look at our, our exterior crash rail. That's a really nice feature. We're using that on a lot of dry vans also. Uh, really keeps the, the panel damage to a minimum. Let's have a look under the trailer. Behind the coupler plate, you're gonna notice these cross members right here. These are tub style cross members and they're aluminum. They're not a steel cross member. They're not an I-beam cross member like a lot of the other guys are using. Lighter and if you have a tire that happens to go up and hit one whether it be a blowout or, or into a you know into a yard that's a bit, a bit of a hill or a hole it's not going to snag the cross member and break it fully galvanized landing gear really really nice all of the cross members down through the belly down through the bay area they're 12 inch centers and they're aluminum they're not steel they're not going to rust We've got those Transtech skirts everybody knows about. Great skirt. Let's move back here to the back of the rail here. We're gonna look over top of the bogey. All of the steel cross members over the bogey, the centers on them are a lot closer than the other guys. And they're fully galvanized. Check this out. You've got your gussets there onto your slide rail. Galvanized Hendrickson suspension. Awesome. Check out these tires. Yokohama tires. We've had really, really good luck with these tires. It's been a, uh, you know, great for tire wear. They've got a deep tread, nice, uh, nice wide shoulder. Real good luck with those. Air slide. Let's go back and look. Uh, actually, I'm going to look at this door return right here. You'll notice on the inside, it's tall tied into the door frame. And what that does is when you back into a dock and that door frame isn't perfectly square, it hits on a corner, it keeps the door frame from getting bent. And speaking of getting bent, the door frames on these stainless steel reefers have a lot thicker material than the competitors. They don't bend like the other guys do. Um, Reinforced bumper, fully galvanized with the step. We've got the chrome rings around the lights, nice big thick heavy duty dock bumpers. We've got a grab handle, help get the driver up in there. And check out those lock rods, stainless steel, not galvanized. Five hinges instead of four. We've got the vent back here. These doors can be a little, a little tight to open, reason being, they seal really, really well. They have a triple seal. One, two, three. Seals up really, really well. Scuff liner, nice, nice scuff liner. Really tall. It has the protector plates at the back to keep pallets from grabbing that door frame as they back out. It's not gonna snag and, and tear it out. The walls on these trailers are the straightest that I've ever seen. Their foaming process is second to none. They really, really do a good job. They're not wavy. They, they're really nice, thick material. They integrate and recess their E-track into the sides. It's awesome. This one in particular, it's a little bit dirty, but it has a flat floor heavy duty. It has the bearing blocks underneath that are made out of Teflon instead of wood. There's your trough in the back with your bridge plates. Drains. You've got drains up at the front also.
Something too about this door frame where it's extra heavy duty, you're able to shut the doors if you're into a yard that's not perfect. I've had a lot of really good feedback about that. There we have it guys.